Ken Andre Paras, Kiefer and Turby Ravenna, Ray Parks, Gab Banal, Kevin Alas, Aaron Black, and Japet Aguila. These are some of the second generation players who have made their marks in Philippine basketball. Thousands of miles away, another son of a basketball great is also on the rise. Kyle Magdangal, son of PBA great, former MVP and current MPBL commissioner Kenneth Durandes, is beginning to make his presence felt in the United States as a high school standout playing for the Marina High School Vikings team, which just pulled off an upset win over top seed Los Angeles Shelebet to advance to the final four of the CIF Southern Section Division 3A playoff semifinals. Good day! This is your host, Ray Hoble, and joining us today in the latest episode of the Manila Times No Holds Barred are Kyle Magdangal and his dad, Commissioner Kenneth Durandes. Good morning, Commissioner, and good evening there in California, Kyle. Uh, first things first, uh, Commissioner Kenneth, no, uh, your son, Kyle, uh, is one of the your two sons who is involved in basketball. No? Uh, Kenji is another one. Uh, mukhang nasa dugo nyo talaga yung uh, uh, yung basketball uh, commissioner no eh anong pakiramdam mo na yung dalawa mong anak is uh, gumagawa rin ng ano ng pangalan sa larangan ng basketball ha ah, well uh, unang una syempre as a father i'm pretty proud na itong dalawang anak eh, ano nasusundan yung gigapak natin and uh, especially to Kyle no um, nagbibigay tayo ng mga pointers and advice Kyle saya tayo dahil uh, they're doing well now in basketball <laughs> okay all right uh, um, Kyle uh, you think uh, you think your dad is throwing a big shadow on you Kyle uh, but, um he definitely is is a cause to put me so big foundation and I really see it um and I just like I like this guy I'm gonna be great I'm gonna be like him so yeah he's a big mm-hmm. a big foundation for me okay right, right Kyle I've seen I've seen some of your stats and uh, you're one of the most consistent performers there in uh, Marina High School huh? but uh, for the benefit of your, of uh, the Filipino viewers can you uh, give a brief a brief background about yourself, Kyle? Up, uh, um, I'm a junior. In high school. Um, I'll be a senior next year. Um, 16 years old. Um, five foot eleven. I'm a point guard. Um, I usually don't score that much, but I always pass first. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a playmaker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I we've seen some of the highlights. Uh, uh, your dad uh, showed it to us and uh, just a follow-up about your stint uh, in Marina High uh, you were able to pull up an upset against top seed uh, Shalhevet if I'm not mistaken right Shalhevet Los Angeles Shalhevet okay uh, how significant it was uh, for your team to pull up such an upset and uh, is your team on track of reaching a milestone Oh, oh, definitely. Oh, um, they were really a good team. They were number two. Number two was the best player. Um, I believe he scored about 37 points on us, um, but we stopped him. Um, mm-hmm. It was a really good team, and we were just we were just confident that we were gonna win as a team, and we had that we had that chemistry going. And onto the finals, it is one more game, and we got that ring. <laughs> okay. Uh, this question is for both of you, uh, Commissioner Kenneth and for Kyle. Uh, Commissioner Kenneth, is uh, Kyle already a Philippine passport holder? And uh, to Kyle, do you have any plans of playing for the Philippines in the future, possibly for for the Gilas uh, Filipinas team, the youth team, or all the way to the men's team? Let's uh, let's hear it from Commissioner Kenneth first. Yes, uh, Kyle is a Philippine passport holder already. He's a dual, and mm-hmm. uh, just hope someday na, na he can represent Gilas or any national team. And uh, mm-hmm. that's again a dream for me and mm-hmm. to him na makapaglaro dito sa bayan natin. And I think 
he's also you know dreaming about it also na someday he can play also for the national team and that's why i can see Cal that he's, he's working hard and uh, he's mm-hmm. dedicated no mm-hmm. and uh oh yung mom niya lagi nag eh, <laughs> nag report sa akin niya Kobe dyan, di yan siya mapigilan. Alam mo, gusto niya talaga mag-practice kahit bawal. And that's a good sign, no? Dahil uh, may attitude before, ganun eh. Kaya the more mm-hmm. napagbabawalan ako dati ng tatay ko, the more ako talagang pasaway dahil basketball. And that's a good sign. And uh, I hope na uh, patuloy yung ano yung dedication niya dyan sa ginagawa niya. Because I can see his improvement uh, year by year, day by day, nakikita natin. And... Uh, Actually, maganda yung running ng team nila and uh, hopefully uh, they win the championship this time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kyle, um, do you envision yourself playing for the Philippines representing the country cross possibly in the youth level and all the way to the men's team, Kyle? Apo naman po. Um, I definitely want to represent my country. Um, for now, I'm just like getting better here in America. Um, new skills, new development and stuff. So yeah, if I don't get a good offer here in the in, in the states then my dad will get me in. I'll play for the for the team. Mm-hmm. But 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 uh, you have you have a knowledge about Philippine basketball and how Philippine basketball is being played. Apo naman po, I do po. Okay. Uh Kyle, uh I'd love uh I'd love to ask more questions from you and your dad, but uh, looks like we're running out of time. Let's uh, let's ask Commissioner K- Kenneth first. Commissioner Kenneth, I know you have plans for the MPBL, and it's really been a challenging times for all of us because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So, but uh, can you take us back? Ano ba yung ano natin? Ano ba yung plano natin so far for the Makarinika Pilipinas Basketball League? Uh, is the vaccine ready now? Uh, are you going to start vaccination for the players and uh, the other members of the team? Yes, right. Actually, we've been we've been preparing the league for a long time already. No? But mm-hmm. uh, we keep on changing plans because uh, you know, ang, ang, ang COVID kasi hindi natin, it's uh, beyond our control. So we have our initial plan before na magbabol. And I think it won't work for us this time because ang 20 teams may erap tayo mga ng permit sa ITF so nagchange tayo ng plan and tingnan natin tong again ang closed circuit and uh, based on sa pinalabas nating memorandum kailangan talaga lahat na involved sa PBL at nakasali is vaccinated na total dahil uh, ito. Uh, makakatulong sa lahat yung again yung high risk na uh, pag vaccinated ka na. and then yung yung cost ng teams na every four days meron tayong swab uh, swab test and we're looking the, uh, the, the PBA uh, close to a closer kit no kung maganda tong result nila ito na rin ang susundan natin at least meron na tayo meron na tayong nakikita and ma offer sa ITF na it did work for the PBA So, titingnan natin and uh, pag okay to, ito na rin ang susundan ng MPBL and uh, uh, gusto lang talaga natin ma-vaccinate lahat para safe and then we're planning to have it on September siguro ang next season natin para sa mga uh, sa mga fans natin nag-aabang dito. Okay, okay. okay. Kyle, uh, Kyle, I know you're very much focused in uh, your upcoming Final Four game and congratulations by the way for uh, reaching this far i know it's it's quite a milestone for your uh, for your team no uh, after this after the final four and hopefully you make it all the way what would be your plans now are you going to train continuous training individual workouts uh, but, um training doesn't stop it's everyday workout um i focus on my game focus on skills that i have to improve on Um, but it's not it's not like that. I I really like the teamwork and we had to keep building that up, building that up. Um, yeah, just keep on okay. going. Okay, 
Um, some of the NBA players are undergoing training, like uh, attending the Abunasar uh, training camp, uh, uh, stuff like that. Do you have any plans of uh, of uh, joining the Skills Workout uh, right after your campaign? Uh, yeah, uh, I have some college that that have called me that to to join their uh, elite camps and stuff. So I'm planning on to. Oh, I'm joining that and go to training with. Okay, but 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 you're but you're still a Ray, junior, can add, right? Can, can I add something? Sure, sure, uh, commissioner. Yes, right. Regard yes, regarding don sa mga extra uh, individual workouts with Kyle and Kenji. So we're planning to hook them up don sa uh, basketball camp ni um, uh, Marcus Banks. Okay. okay. Marcus Banks has an uh, elite uh, basketball program and uh, na connect namin sila through our relative in Las Vegas. So Kenji will fly to the US on June 16 and join Kyle and hopefully tapos na ang season ni Kyle and uh, we'll put them on training camp. And uh, that's the commitment of Marcus Banks to, to my wow. kids. Nandun din tayo mm-hmm. para makita natin itong training ng dalawa. Mm-hmm. So, and hopefully you can join also. Hopefully you can join also, Ray. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, commissioner, uh, I'm just, is... Uh, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> okay. Is, uh, is, has Kyle already committed to a college team at this, this early? Wala pa. Kyle? Wala pa po. Hindi pa po napag-decide. Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. Uh, at this point in time, you're very much focused on uh, helping Marina High School, no? And uh, you, you, you're one of the top performers there. And uh, my congratulations to all of you, uh, to, to, to your team, and uh, of course, you. Uh, uh, Commissioner and Kyle, uh, uh, it's, it's a wrap. Any parting words, uh, Commissioner? First of all, uh, the MPBL fans and Philippine basketball fans in general, Commissioner. Yes, Ray. Uh, take this opportunity to thank everyone, especially you again, my partner, for uh, giving us the time here. And to our uh, MPBL fans, no? uh, more patience back because, uh, again, we have to consider again the pandemic. We don't have any, any other choice but to wait, 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 and uh, hanap tayo ng magandang timing. And, Besides, the uh, vaccines that are rolled out, na rin, hopefully more vaccines to come and marami na vaccinate. And para din sa atin and uh, madali na tayo makakuha ng uh, clearance for the idea for the government to resume. So, yun na lang nantay natin. And uh, don't worry, yung mga MPBL family natin na uh, nag-aabang yung mga fans, eh, tuloy-tuloy po ang commitment ng ating uh, senator sa uh, MPBL. And... Uh, tuloy-tuloy po ang ating kasayahan sa Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. So, thank you again. Hopefully, uh, uh, mag-champion kayo dyan. And again, mm-hmm. remember, stay low and uh, stay humble all every time. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Okay. Kyle, uh, uh, any parting words? Uh, we wish you good luck uh, as well no? uh, in your final four campaign. No? And I know it's going to be tough. Uh, the competition gets tougher now. And uh, uh, would you like to meet the uh, Filipino fans, uh, Pinoy basketball fans in general? Uh, to all the Filipino fans out there, um, thank you for, for su- supporting. Um, I'll keep working my hardest. Um, I'll let, I won't let you guys down. I'll be my next dad. Um, I'll be out there in a few. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, Kyle. And uh, Commissioner, thank you so much as well. Huh? Ama nga ang kasabihan, kung ano ang puno, siya rin ang bunga. And in the case of Kyle Magdangal, he takes pride of continuing the rich basketball legacy of this family built by Kenneth Durandes. But this is just one of the exciting episodes in store for you in the days to come. Join us again in our next episode here in the Manila Times No Holds Barred. On behalf of our editors, Frederick Nashad and Emil Guerra. This is your host, Ray Hoble. Until then, goodbye.